Hello. In this video I'm going to show you the randomize function in Excel. We're going to create a sample set of data that we will use in our next video for pivot table practice. Let's get started. To use randomize, the function is equals R A N D open and close parentheses and multiply by the maximum value that you want as the random number. F9 will refresh the calculation. And you can see the random effect there. This formula is going to return the result of above 0 and below 10. And it's all in fractions. So let's clean this up a little bit. I'm going to make it in whole numbers only and only the numbers 1 to 10. To do that, I'm going to use round up and I'm going to round to zero digits. Now you can see the values are all between 1 and 10. Okay, let's use the randomize function in order to create a list of fake names. So I downloaded here a list of first and last names from Google and we're going to use the index function to look at that list and go down a random number of rows and return that name. So index, first you look at the array, we select this as the array for last name, um, then you look at the row number which is our random function there and close parentheses. So now we have a list of random names. Um, this uh, list is 209 rows long so I'm gonna make this random go for 200 and 208 should use most of that list. Yes, now we have a list of last names. I'm gonna make it a bigger list. Just drag this formula down a little longer. There you go. And let's do it with first names. I'm going to add to the same formula. I'm going to do and, quote, comma, space, quote, and, and now we're going to use the same formula, but we're going to look at the first names. So all I need to change is the index array location to column B. And now we have a list of random first and last names in the format of last name, comma, space, first name. Okay, let's give them random employee numbers now. Let's say that their employee number starts with the letters EMP and then a pound sign. And then it has a six digit random number. So we'll do rand times 1 million and if we just leave it at that it is going to not work I'll show you why um, get your fraction of course so we can get rid of that we'll do round up comma zero and it still doesn't work because it it's only four digits instead of six digits. So we'll do text of that random value and we'll put it in six digit format. Now even if the value is one, it'll display as EMP pound sign zero 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 one. And drag that down. Now let's check to see, we want to make sure we don't have any duplicated employee numbers because that probably wouldn't happen in real life. So we will do a simple count if this range of data here and check to see if it is this value and copy that down. All the values are one so we'll place these with just the values. Get rid of the formula because every time we make any change to the spreadsheet it's recalculating all these randomized functions. So let's replace these names with set values too. Pay special values. Now the formulas are gone, it's just the values. Okay now let's set their department. Let's say there's five different departments in this company. 
I'm just going to set it up over here. Um, assembly. I'm going to save you some time. That's good enough. All right. So now we're going to use a random, uh, random number generator in order to pick which one of these departments they're in. So we have the values one through five, and we'll just use a VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. Round up. Random times five. Round to zero digits. Look up the value in this array here and return only matching values. You can see my other videos about VLOOKUP if you're not sure how that works. Maybe I need to watch that video because I seem to have a problem here. Okay got to put in the column to return back. We're going to return the second column. All right, now we have the department. We can um, randomize that a few more times using the recalculate button if you didn't like how it looked. So let's do it like that. Lots of IT and production control people. Sure. Copy. Paste special the values to get rid of the formulas, and now we don't need this table here anymore either. All right, so now we've set up our fake little company sample set of data. Stay tuned for my next video, and I'll show you how to manipulate this data using a pivot table. All right, thanks. Bye.